What's going on guys, Nitrex here. So today I'm going to be making another tutorial video. Uh, if you remember in my last video I made a tutorial on how to set up block strap for Roblox and uh, I received a comment I'll put up on the screen here asking if I could do a tutorial on how to use the fast flags for it. So I'm going to be doing exactly that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you where to go. Um, I'm going to be using Maximum ADHD's GitHub. Uh, he made one that shows, uh, well, it has all the Roblox uh, fast flags that are currently active uh, since it checks for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the window fee real quick and I'll show you how to set it up for block strap. All right, everyone. So I have on the Roblox F leg tracker from Maximum ADHD. It's on GitHub and I'm gonna be leaving the link in the description. So once you're on here, I believe, uh, let me double check uh, client. Windows, yep. So it's gonna be the PC desktop client one. So we'll go to that one real quick. Actually, when was it edited? I wanna <laughs> see that too. Uh, hmm. Two days ago, okay, so. Mm -hmm. I believe if you go to history. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, you can also view the history and the uh, changes. So that also helps if you wanna find a uh, new things that Roblox puts in. Um, I think if you could just click here, there we go. Yeah, see, so you can see like, uh, they aren't usually adding too much, I think. <laughs> oh, dang. Anyways, yeah, these are just timestamps and stuff updating. I don't know, but usually, uh, I know Maxim ADHD posted on Twitter or X it's called now, sorry, but, um, he posted as well a fast flag that changes the FPS value and I'll show you that soon. But I just wanted to show you that, uh, oh, geez, hold up. I need to get back to the actual file. <laughs> Desktop client. Okay. So here we go. So as you see, it has all this stuff and, um, you can see like a lot video approval, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, these are what, uh, basically helps the Roblox client function or like, it's hard to explain but it's basically just settings for the Roblox client. So um, I'm trying to figure out something. I know there's i uh, I'll look up whitelist because I know that's in here. If you look up whitelist, there's some users and things that have, uh, is it there? Yeah, see, so I know they have whitelist and things and I know Blockstrap changes these settings uh, because it gives you, I think, yeah. So if you see it on Blockstrap, it has the setting to get the old, um, the old Roblox menus back. Um, it basically uses this cause it's, uh, they use a player ID. So yeah, I'm going to show you the main one right now. That's new, which is the FPS cap. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Blockstrap real quick for you. Uh, oh wait, let me, uh, exit Roblox real quick. Okay. So let me open up Blockstrap. Wait, oh man, where is it? Uh, yeah, block strap menu. So you want to edit these fast flags and fast flag editor. And basically these are the ones, all the ones you can edit in this file. So it's good to know how fast flags work before you do this, because <laughs> it also gives you a warning and that's why. So you should know about fast flags and how they work. But, um, the ones, these are, um, oh, this one I, I don't know. I just tried these ones. They didn't really do anything. Uh, I'll show you the new one. Okay. Yeah. So the custom one I have uh, maximum posted on X, um, it is f the FPS cap. So it's F like game, basic settings, frame rate cap. And the value is true. So that means you're going to have the beta future of the frame rate cap and it will save that for the client. So if you go ahead and put this name and value, if you go to add new, uh, type the name as F like game basic settings frame rate cap, exactly as it is in right here. And then you put the value as true. I'll show you what it does. So if you do that and I'll go ahead and go into Roblox game and unpause the video when I'm on it. All right, everyone. So I am on Epic mini games. So as you can see, after putting in those F like settings, if you go to settings and go down, it should be somewhere here. It's default. So there you go. See, it adds this to the Roblox client maximum frame rate. 
I don't think it released everyone yet, but yeah, it's uh for sure it got added from the fast flag. So you could change it 30, 60, 144 to 40 and it unlocks your FPS and you know, see it does that. I had it enabled in uh Block Shop already since they already have it where you can enable uh sorry, where you can uh uncap the default Roblox FPS, which is at 60. But if I disable that I could still uncap it just with Roblox itself after adding the fast flag. So that's pretty much uh, the tutorial on how to edit fast flags. So I'll leave that link for you in the description of all the fast flags that are currently on the Roblox client. And if you have any other questions, like specific ones or anything, uh, leave them in the comments because I'll be replying to those as well. So hopefully you guys found this informative and have fun modifying Roblox, <laughs> basically modding it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, be sure to comment uh, what other videos you want to see, whether it's a game or even more generic tutorials, just anything. Leave them in the comments what you want to see next. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.